Hey, you, I need you to hit the subscribe button below. What's the next step for you, sister? I'm asking you. The next step is changing my appearance. All praises. Changing your appearance, and then what? Stick it to it. Come on, there's something else. Help me. I'm asking you, you sober or are you high? Right now? Yeah, right now. Sober. You sober? Okay. I thought I thought I was losing you for a minute. Okay, all praise. He's digesting okay. everything. Okay, all praise. Yep, all praise. Give me Leviticus 23 and verse 2. We're going to show you what God also commands us. Uh, read. You got that? I'm going to show you a couple of things, okay? Uh, yeah, read. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 23, and verse 2. Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, concerning the feast of the Lord, which ye shall, pro shall proclaim to be holy convocations, even these are my feasts. So the Lord says we have to convocate. Do you know what convocate is? Convocate means that you get with your brothers and sisters. Um, you got that? Give me Zephaniah. Yes, congregate. Congregating. That's a convocation, but that's the same thing. It's the same thing. So that means you have to get with your brothers and sisters. Read that. This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 2 and verse 1. Bring it up. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together. O nation, not desire. No, everybody. O nation, not desire. You have to gather together with your brothers and sisters. Please. On one accord, keeping God's laws. You understand that? That's what the Bible just said. So on the Sabbath days, guess what? We should see you this Sabbath day. Are you guys going to be here? We're going to be congregating at, at, at our place. You should be calling to say, you know what? Hey, I want to come and visit the school so I can congregate. You too, brother. You should come with her. What's up? Okay, okay, well, I'm gonna show you something with that after I'm done dealing with this, all right? Give me uh, Titus uh, 2 real quick. So you just read that the Bible says that we have to gather together. And the importance of gathering together is because of this right here. So I want Titus 2, and uh, I want you to start at verse 3, yes. This is the book of Titus, chapter 2 and verse 3. The aged woman, likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness. So the Bible provides order and structure to our people. What is the mindset of our older women these last days? It ain't good, right? They put the babies off, they baby mamas everywhere. No you know what I'm saying? No leadership, no guidance. And this is what we teach you to how to get leadership and guidance. It says the aged women will guide the young sisters on how to be uh, sober and how to conduct themselves. Read that again. The aged woman, likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not giving too much wine. Teachers of good things. See that? Teachers of good things. So you, the, the importance of congregating is that you can get around like-minded brothers and sisters, and especially the sisters that will guide you and show you, look, so this is how we do it. This is how you get, uh, apply God's laws to your life. You get guidance from the sisters and the brothers. You understand? You get the brothers teach you the scriptures, and the sisters also teach you how to be uh, do those things that a woman should be doing. Right. And you can only learn those things when you around righteous people. Yes. Is that it on that? Finish it up. That they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their hubs, husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God be not blasphemed. See that? We don't want to blaspheme the word of God. So when you get with your like-minded brothers and sisters, you learn order and structure on how you should apply God's laws and conduct your life. You understand that? That's important. That's that's what you have to do on getting together, keeping the Sabbath day holy, wearing fringes, wearing your hair covered. That's what. That's the next step. Your next step should be saying, you know what? This Sabbath, I'm gonna congregate. I'm gonna call that number, right? And I'm gonna make sure I come up to the school. Oh yeah, it's on there, it's on the back. So make sure you do that. Yes, it's on the back. Right? And right, you see it? I U I C. All praises. So now, um, just real quick, uh, what you got? Uh, yep, yep, yeah, let's read that. Because uh you you made a statement, right? So we're gonna show you that it's important to know who you are. No matter no matter which way you cut it, 
there's over, there's about 18 nations in this world. And you have to identify what nation of people you come from. We just can't say the human race. Because guess what? The white man say that too. And he'll look you dead in your face and pull the trigger. You understand that? So no, we know that there's a godly race and there's an evil race according to the Bible. Right. So let's read this right here, what God says in Amos 3, and I'm going to show you something else. We're gonna this is the book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 1. Yeah. Hear this word that the Lord hath spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. So it's only one nation of people that the Lord delivered from captivity out of the, of the land of Egypt. You understand? Not all nations. Not the human race. Because the human races, you had the pharaohs and the Egyptians oppressing us. Read. Saying, you only have I known that God only knows us, the children of Israel, the 12 tribes that's on this sign right here. We, of all the families of the earth, therefore will I punish you for all of your iniquities. What was the punishment that came to the 12 tribes of Israel? It's right here. That's the punishment. And the results of it, look around. Look around at our people. Look around how we destroy. Look around how we kill each other. Look around how we got baby mamas and baby daddies everywhere. These are the results of the curses that have been poured out on the children of Israel. Not all nations. Our God is nothing to play with. He is nothing to play with. What other God uh, had these things happen? Say it again, sister. Get out of it. Yes, you're right. We can't get out of it. How, how can we get out? By reversing everything, doing everything right. Give me uh, uh, Deuteronomy 28. Because that we that's nipped in the bud right there with that that scripture. Get Deuteronomy 28 and verse one. We'll show you what God says. How we reverse it. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 1. Yeah. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nation, uh, nations of the earth. You see that? That's how we reverse it. Right. Because guess what? Applying God's laws, that establishes what? A foundation that we lack as a nation of people. That's right. So if we keep God's laws, we would be established. Yeah, and not only that, not only that, there's a judgment coming for the nations that done these things to us. Yeah. Almost, most our God ain't just gonna let this thing uh, slide. Get that in Revelations real quick. That is true. So you, you, you've been watching all praises. That is true, but you gotta make sure you're not a part of that number. You gotta make sure you're not a part of that number. Read Revelation 13 and verse 9. Let's see the love that God got for all nations, all mankind. Read. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 13 and verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Who led us in captivity? What the Bible just said. They're going to go in. So that thought should be cast down from your mind about all people, about all nations, and being righteous is a beautiful thing. We're going to show you that as well. Uh, you finish that? Finish it up. Read it from the top again. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. That's he right. that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. That's right. That's perfect judgment. That's perfect judgment in the eyes of God. And we can't shun that thing away. That's right. You understand that? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.